Hello, Edwin, Antonio, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? Never better, teacher. Oh, really? What's the matter? What's the matter, Edwin? Are you sick tonight? Uh, um, no, but my day was busy. Ah, okay. I have to run for many things. Okay, okay, I understand. So don't worry. In an hour, you are going to rest, right? You are going to go to bed and you are going to rest a lot. Hello, yes. Lorena. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hello, I'm fine. And you? I'm perfect. Thanks for asking me. How was your day, Christian? Uh, pretty good, I think. <laughs> okay, that's great. So let me ask a question, guys. Um, the platform. Uh, what about the platform, the section number three and the meter exam? Have you already finished those exercises? I already finished the section three. I'm in the section four, but I haven't started. Ah, okay, that's great. Congratulations then. How was the test? Was it easy? Was it difficult? Uh, I think it was easy. I had just one mistake, but then I fixed it. Okay, that's great. So go correct the mistake. That's great. So now you have the 100% on the meter exam. That is great. So check your progress, right? Check your progress. It must be up to 50%, I guess, after the midterm. And what about you, Samuel Isaac? Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight, Samuel? Are you still working, Samuel? Okay, probably he is, right? Probably Samuel is still at work. So Edwin Antonio, what about you? Section section three in the meter. Have you already finished? Oh, I have been finished the unit three, but I have to do the mid exam. Okay, you haven't done the meter exam yet. Okay, so don't worry, you still have time, right? Today and tomorrow you can work on that part on the platform. Hello, Carlos Dominguez, welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you, teacher. And you? I'm very good. Thanks for asking me. How was your day, Carlos? Carlos, how was your day? Was it busy? Was it relaxing? Interesting? Uh, 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 relaxing. Relaxing. Okay. Did you have any problem to enter to the session? Yes, teacher. Uh, um, and the start. Um, okay, and what about you guys? Hello, Carlos Vladimir. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Just give me a second. Um, somebody is writing on the WhatsApp group. Uh, some people is having troubles, right, to enter to the virtual session tonight. And it is because there is an update of Zoom. And I'm sending a video for the step they need to follow to enter to the class. Just give me a second and we're going to start. these steps. Okay, 
So let's start with the next class. Hello, Carlos Vladimir. I was asking you about the meter exam because tonight we are going to have a review of that test. We are going to see what is in the meter exam. And we are going to have a review. We are going to practice a lot the three sections that we have already learned. So let's go with this. Welcome again. I hope that your classmate can enter the virtual section soon. And welcome to the class number seven. And this is the topic for tonight, meter exam. So let's start with this. We are going to start with the listening part. But before to go to the listening, let's read the lesson out for tonight. In this session, we will have a review of the three first session of these models. So let's go. So take a look at this conversation. Let's read this conversation. So Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and not. I wanted to go surfing, but the way was really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf. No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How do you spend your vacation? So let's see. After reading these sentences, which tense uh, are they? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm Hello. sorry I'm late, but I'm okay. here. Hello, Christina. Welcome to the class. Don't worry. Be welcome. Thank you. Okay. ¿En qué tiempo es esta conversación, guys? Which is the ten? Is it future, present, or simple past? Any simple idea? Past. Thank you so much, Edwin. Yes, it is in simple past, right? So, where did you go for your vacation? Lisa asked to this guy in the answer. I went to Australia. It was my first time there. What do you know about Australia? Do you know something about this beautiful country, Australia? It's continent. Okay, is it a country or continent? Okay, okay. It's a continent. What do you know about this place, Australia? Country, you... teacher. Oh, okay. No, Australia is a country. It's a country. What do you know about this country then? Kangaroos. Okay. There are some kangaroos there. Just give me a second. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to assist your classmates who are having troubles to enter to the virtual session. So let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. and somebody shared uh, the link to them. Okay, kangaroos and one more. There are a lot of dangerous animals there, like snakes. Uh, what other ones? Crocodile and a lot of um, big animals, big and dangerous animals. Koalas. Uh, can you repeat, Carlos, with me, please? Koalas. Oh, I can. I couldn't hear you. Koalas. Koalas. Oh, koalas. Okay, Ko koala. Okay, probably it is because it's raining a lot here. What about in the place you are? Is it raining there? Is it raining there? Yes. yes. Ah, okay, that's great. So let's listen this conversation and pay attention, please, to the pronunciation, and then we're going to practice. So here we go. Let's listen.
Okay, what is the name of these two people who are talking? What are the names? What are their names? What are their names? What are their names? Who did go to Australia for a vacation? Lisa or Peter? Lisa. Okay, Lisa. Lisa was there, right? Okay, so I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to try? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. And any, any other volunteer? Me. Okay, Carlos, Vladimir, and Cristina, right? Okay, wait a minute, please. Okay, no problem. Okay. Uh, Are you ready? Can you listen? Okay, yes, I'm ready. Oh. Okay, great. Okay. So let's start. You are A, Carlos Vladimir, and you are B, Cristina. Okay. So, Lisa, where did you go from your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves was really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool and cool and rainy for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. Ah, but what about you, Peter? <laughs> How do you spend your vacation? Excellent job. Thank you so much, Carlos, Vladimir, and Cristina. Perfect job. So let's see, what, what's the weather in Australia during the time Lisa was there? How was the weather like? The weather is pretty, cloudy, and cool. Okay, excellent. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool. And also it rained for two whole days. So did Lisa, uh, did Lisa go surfing? Did Lisa go surfing? No, she didn't. Cause the weather was but was cloudy and was cool. Okay, thank you so much. You say no, she didn't because the weather was was sorry was pretty cloudy, cool, and it rained a lot. Okay, thank you so much. Now let's listen the second part of this conversation. But how about you? What about you, Peter? How do you spend your vacation? Say hi, the Peter. Let's see what. Peter D. Okay, let's listen. Can you listen to the conversation? No, 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 no. Okay. Ah, okay, I'm sorry. The weather, me... both. But what about you, Pete? And now, can you listen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's great. I'm sorry for that. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still love the trip. Okay, any new vocabulary? But what about you, Peter? 
What about you, Peter? How do you spend your vacation? Any new vocabulary in this part? Teacher, the weather can change very quickly in the mountain. Uh, quickly is very quickly. Okay, quickly is an adverb. It means rapidamente. The weather can change muy rápido in the mountain. In the mountain. So quickly, rápido, rápidamente. In the mountain. These are some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still love the trip. So no new, no new words in this conversation. Okay, I need to volunteer to practice then. Who wants to practice? Me, teacher, Crisia Monge. Thank you, Crisia and any other volunteer? I have Crisia and me, teacher Evelyn. Thank you so much, Evelyn. So, Crisia, you are A and Evelyn, you are B. You can start, please. Okay. Um, but what about you, Peter? How do you spend your vacation? Well, I have a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow, what do you do there? I I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? I was good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountain. Some some they were sunny and were perfect for walking, but other day they were cold and wet, but instead love the trip. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Excellent job, Christia and Evelyn. It says, wow, what did you do there? So let's see a look at this question. How do you spend your vacation? So take a minute and let's think about your last vacation. And what did you do? How do you spend your vacation? When was the last time you had vacation? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tuvieron vacaciones? Was it in Easter week or on August festivities? In July. Okay, you had vacation August. in July, in August. Always when? Any other month? Just in July, in August. It was in August. It I was like in... vacation. Okay, you like vacation and it was in August for August festivities in San Salvador, right? So okay. let's see. How do you spend your vacation? I think a minute about this question. How do you spend your vacation? So what did you do on your vacation? ¿Qué actividades realizó en sus vacaciones? Then you say, I went to the beach. I went to the movies. I fixed my car. I stayed home. I went to the mountains, I visited my relatives. So how do you spend your vacation? Mm -hmm. I went to the beach with my family. Okay, perfect, thank you so much. Any other volunteer? So who wants to participate? How do you spend your vacation? I went to the Cuatepeque Lake and uh, some days I stayed at home just watching TV and spending my time here with my family at home. Okay, that's perfect, Crisia. Uh, what was the weather like in Coatepeque Lake during your vacation? The weather was? The weather was, um, was good, was, it wasn't hot, was like fresh. 
Okay, great. Thank you so much. Anyone? How do you spend your last vacation? Who wants to share with the class? How do you spend? How did, sorry, how did you spend your vacation? Two more, two more, and we continue with the class. Anybody? Any other volunteer? If not, I'm gonna choose somebody. I went to the Puerto de la Libertad. Yeah. Into the home. And I ate chicken because I don't like seafood. Okay, did you swim? No, just for eight sunfoot. Ah, okay, that's great. And what was the weather like in El Puerto de la Libertad on your vacation? It was sunny and so hot. Okay, thank you so much, Ingrid. Perfect sentences. Thank you. The last one, who wants, who wants to participate? Teacher. Tell me, Carlos. Uh, I went to Salinitas Beach. Great. I have heard about that place. Is it beautiful? Yes, it's, uh, it's fantastic. Okay. Thank you so much. Excuse me, teacher. Tell me, Yasmin. Eh, teacher, creo que ha habido ahí con la plataforma algún problema. Eh, yo reenvié mi, mi link que me enviaron al correo para que los compañeros se pudieran conectar, pero aparece ahí mi nombre uno, dos, tres, cuatro veces. O sea, los compañeros están recibiendo la clase, pero aparece con mi nombre. Ah, ok. Aparecen dos, cuatro aparecemos. Pero yeah. no importa con solo que reciban la clase. Ah, ok, Yasmin. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So what you can do is change your name. So you can go to the icon if it says participant. So you click in. Ponemos el puntero sobre nuestro nombre. Ahí hay tres puntitos. Y ahí pueden cambiar el nombre. Busquen la opción cambiar nombre y se cambian el nombre. Hola, teacher. Hello, good evening. Teacher, yo soy Ana Martínez, igual que es como dijo que era, porque aparezco como Miriam Rivera. Ah, uh, ok. Tell me your name, please. You are Ana, Hola. right? Ana, sí, right? Ana Martínez, ajá. Es que, ah, ya, ya, ya. Ya okay. aparezco como Ana. Ok, es que I have... Hay problemas para entrar. I have Sonia to right? Let's see, Sonia. Yes, are you Sonia? Anybody? I have another one. También yo, lo que sucede es que hubo problemas para poder ingresar, creo que fue el link. Okay, tell me your name, please. Cristina Calderón. Cristina. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it good now? I still have yes. two of me. Two of me, Rivera. Well, you can change your name there, right? I don't know, Rivera. Yes, we have still two of me. Teacher, yo también, mire, ahí dice Sonia, pero soy Alma Castro. Okay, ahorita se lo cambió. Don't worry, Sonia Alma. Alma Castro. I made a mistake there. I'm sorry. Alma Castro. Falta, falta otro compañero que aparece. Con sí, hay otro Osmín. compañero que aparece como Osmín. But don't worry. Okay, so let's continue with this. And me, me hacía falta uno, ¿verdad? Just one. Who wants to participate? How did you spend your vacation? What's the question? ¿Cómo... ¿Cómo pasó o qué hizo en las vacaciones anteriores? How did you spend your vacation? ¿En qué actividades se le fueron las vacaciones? Just one, just one more. Is it a cat or a rabbit, Carlos Vladimir? 
Oh, it's a cat. It's a cute cat. Okay, just one, the last one. Tell me, how did you spend your vacation? His name is Sonic. Sonic, okay. That is a great name. Okay, that is a great name. Okay, no more volunteers. If we don't have any other volunteer, let's continue then with the class. Thank you guys, let's go with this. So let's continue. Now we are going to complete this small conversation using this adjective here. Adjective is an adverb, so number one. Is it long, good, well, or often? Which word I need to complete this question? Do you remember about how long, how well, how good, how often? How often, often, number one. Number one is how often? Okay, that's great, the second one. How? Long. How long? How well? Or how good? How, how well, okay, how tennis. well do you play tennis? How well do you play tennis? Number three. How long, how long do you spend? How long? Okay, how long do you spend at the gym? Just 30 minutes a day. Who has the time? Uh, number how four. Well. How good? How good. How well. how okay, well. so how often do you work out? How well do you play tennis? How long do you spend at the gym? How good are you at soccer? Yes, give me a second. Okay, can you tell me how good are you? How good are you at playing volleyball? What is a good answer? How good are you at Volleyball, que tan bueno son jugando volleyball. What is a good answer for that question? I am not so good at that sport. I cannot okay. play. Excellent <laughs> answer. I'm not so good. Any other answer? Okay, how well do you cook? How well do you cook? How well do you cook? Say, I'm very well. I'm pretty well. Not so good. Not so good. I don't like to cook. Okay, not so good. I don't really like to cook. Okay, cool. I need to volunteer to practice in conversation one and two. Who wants? Who wants to participate? If no volunteer, mm -hmm. somebody. Me teacher. Me teacher. Oh, can you say me and your name, please? Me, Ingrid. Okay, Ingrid, thank you so much, Ingrid. And any other volunteer? Hosman. Thank you, Hosman. So let's listen, Ingrid and Hosman. Ingrid, you are A, and Hosman, you are B. And then we're going to listen, Ada. How often do you work? At Every day. I am real fine with Frey. How well do you play tennis? About average, but I'm very bitter and bitter. How long do you spend at the gym? Just 30 minutes a day would have that time. How good are you at soccer? Okay, I guess this is not really my favorite sport. Okay, thank you so much. Ingrid and Hosman, very good job in this part, thank you. So, fitness, how do you pronounce this word, fitness? Do you remember the pronunciation of this word? Every day I am a real fitness. Freak. Freak, thank you so much. I am a really fitness freak. Thank you. Then let's listen, Ada. Any other volunteer to practice with Ada? Who went? Who went? Just one guy. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. So, 
Can you please start, Ada? Yes, teacher. Let's start, please. Okay. How often do you work up? Every day. I'm a real fitness freak. How well do you play tennis? About average, but I'm getting better and better. How long do you spend at the gym? Just 30 minutes a day. Uh, who has the time? How good are you at soccer? Okay, I guess it's not really my favorite sport. Thank you so much. Excellent. That was perfect. Now let's complete this. Choose the correct passport of the verb to complete these, these sentences and these answers. So let's start. Did you stay, stay or, or stay? Stay. 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 Is it correct the sentence? Did you stay home last night? Yes. Yes, it is. And it says, no, I didn't. And what did uh, you do? do? Did or do? Do. I, I go dancing. I, I went. I went. I went I went, de, de, dancing. I went dancing at the new club on 8th Street. So still in my quarter too. Oh, really? Yes, we had, had a great time. Thank you. Yes, we had a great time. Where, 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 you? where, where you? Okay, it better be in simple past. Where were you? I was, I was. I was in the laundromat at all evening. Okay, I was in the laundromat at all evening. How boring. Absolutely no, I met my friend there. We spent, spent the evening loud. And laughing and talk, talking, laughing and talking. Nice. So, is it correct? All the sentences are correct? Yes or no? It's correct. Okay. Thank you. Who wants to practice? I want to see somebody here. So, Crisia, can you help me, please? And Evelyn, please. Let's see, Crisia and Evelyn. Did you stay? Did you stay? Did you stay home last night? No, I didn't. I I didn't. What did you do? I went dance, dancing at a new club. On English Street, H Street. Oh, really? Oh, yes. yes, I we have great time. Where were you? I was in the lab, lab drum. Oh, evening. How boring. Actually, no, I meet my friend there. We spent the evening laughing and talk, talking. Excellent job. Thank you so much, Christian and Evelyn. So let's see. Landromat. In the landromat all evening. I was in the laundromat all evening. Then it says, I met. I met my friend there. Laughing and talking. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next exercise. Do you have any question in these sentences? No question? No. No, okay, that's pretty cool. Let's go with this one. Can you... Can you choose the correct answer here? Excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Say, yes, there is. There is around the corner. Is it any one or some? There is one. One, one around the corner. One, one around the corner. Okay. 
Okay, when? How hotels are there in this neighborhood? Yeah. How many? Already. How many? How many? How many? How many? Okay, excellent. Number three, there are a few. A few. There are a few. Is there public transportation near here? Is there much, 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 public. much public transportation near here? No, there is isn't any. 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 Okay, no, there isn't any. So, excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Yes, there is. There is one. Yes. In, in the five question, well, no, in, in sentence, another is in none is, is correct. No, or, no, it isn't. There is, no, there is none. Sería la otra opción. No, there is pero, none. No, there isn't none. Pero sí no. estaría bien poner any or none. No, la estructura con none es sin el not. No, ah. there is none. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Es sin el not, ok. Pero sí podríamos usar esta opción, ¿verdad? No, there is none. Ok, thank you. ¿Tú volunteer to practice this conversation? Sí, Osmin, teacher. Ok, thank you, Osmin. And... Osmin, any other volunteer? Osmin, yes, teacher. Francisco. Okay, Fran, thank you. Osmin, you are A, Francisco, you are B. Let's start. Excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Hello, Francisco. And around the corner. Hola. How many hotels oh. are there in the neighborhood? Uh, there are there are many. Ah uh, uh, no, there uh, are a few, a few. Is there much public tra transportation near here? No, there isn't any. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Now let's see. I have this question. Uh, how often? How often do you watch uh, a movie after dinner? Then I have this, this example. I often watch a movie after dinner. What about you? How often do you watch a movie after dinner? Do you remember about this frequency adverbs? and also frequency expression. I always watch a movie or the news uh, during the dinner and after the dinner. Okay, thank you, we answered. Thank you very much. Any other answer? This is the question, how often? Do you usually watch a movie after dinner? Okay, usually it's a great answer. Thank you so much. Any other answer? How often do you watch a movie after dinner? Any other answer? The last answer for this question, how often do you watch a movie after dinner? Frequency advert and also frequency expression like every day, every week, every Monday. I hardly ever watch a movie after dinner. Thank you so much. Now let's see. Uh, do you ever drink soda in the afternoon? That is the second question. Do you ever drink soda in the afternoon? It's a yes, no question. Can you say yes? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, okay. oh, yes I almost. No. Yeah, yes, I do. I always drink soda in the afternoon. Yes, I do. I sometimes drink soda in the afternoon. 
or yes, I do. I drink soda every day. Name the last one. How often do you eat fruit? How often do you eat fruit, guys? How often do you eat fruit? Oh, sorry, do you eat fruit? How often do you eat fruit? I often eat fruit. Okay, great. The last answer, how often do you eat fruit? I always eat fruit. Okay, I always eat fruit. Thank you. Let's continue with the next here. Let's give me a second. Okay, now I have this exercise for you. You are going to go to the breakup rooms and you are going to ask this question to your classmate. How often do you? Let's see, how often do you go to the dentist? How often do you buy clothes? How often do you buy shoes? How often do you go to the beach? How often do you eat pusas? How often do you drink coffee? Uh, travel to another country, tell lies. How often do you tell lies? How often do you tell the truth? And how often do you eat ice cream? Any new vocabulary in these questions? You are going to interview to your classmates. So we are going to work in groups and you can organize your group, right? One person can ask the question and the other one can answer them. So we are going to use uh, always, uh, sometimes, usually, often, never, hardly ever. And also the frequency expression like every day, every month, twice a year, once a year. You can use those expressions to answer this question. So is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, that's great. Then let's go with the breakup rooms. Está clara la actividad? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? ¿Qué vamos a practicar con los compañeros? You can take yes. notes or take a screenshot of this question. Are you ready? Carlos Dominguez, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Osmin, are you ready? Okay, here we go then. Muy bien, vamos a las salas con sus compañeros. Please and practice a lot. Hello, Gerson Adonai. Do you have a problem to enter to the breakup rooms? Edwin, do you have a problem? Yes, teacher. Do a problem ahí. No recibió la invitación para el grupo. Bueno, vamos a unir. ¿Qué tal ahora, Gerson?
Hello, Gerson. No pude entrar en los breakup rooms. No, no pude, teacher. Eh, me sale la invitación, pero la entrada me sale, me manda el correo desde el inicio. Igual entro ahí, siempre me manda la pantalla principal. Um, okay, so we can practice here, don't worry. So I'm going to ask you the question. So let's see, let me show you which are the questions. So it's this one, how often do you? Let's discuss, Harrison. How often do you go to the dentist? Eh, yeah. eh, Tenemos que contestar o sé como preguntas. Eh, no, this is a question. How often do you go to the dentist? Entonces usted responde con los adverbios de frecuencia. ¿Con qué frecuencia visita usted el dentista o va al dentista? Es. Yes. Uh, Entonces es, usted comienza. Yes, a day. Va a decir, I go I. to the dentist. En esa línea pone el adverbio. Si siempre va, dice always. Si va usualmente, usually. Si va algunas veces, sometimes. Si casi nunca va, hardly ever. Y si nunca va al dentista, never. Puede utilizar cualquiera de ellos. Uh, I, okay. Así sería. I never go to the dentist. I usually go to the dentist. I sometimes go to the dentist. Ay, ya te Sería. I. I never go to the dentist. Okay, excellent. Now let's go with the second one. Buy clothes. How often do you buy clothes? Let me see. I... Uh, Can you say, I never buy clothes. I sometimes buy clothes. I, I hardly... Ah, excellent. I hardly. I hardly uh, never. Ah, okay. So the, I hardly ever. I hardly ever. ever. I hardly ever buy cloth. Puedes decir la oración conmigo. I hardly ever buy I cloth. Ha I hardly ever buy cloth. Excellent. Thank you. Eh, sería casi nunca. Raras veces. Yo raras veces. Compro ropa. Buy shoes. How often do you buy shoes? I I I literally I literally buy shoes. Oh, I never or I hardly ever. I never. Okay, I never buy shoes. I uh, never. Drink coffee. Vamos a irnos saltando algunas. Drink coffee. How often do you drink coffee? Let's say drink. I I hardly never drink coffee. Okay, casi nunca toma café. That's great. I hardly ever drink coffee. Okay, Samuel. Samuel dice, I never buy shoes. Perfect, Samuel Isaac, that is a good sentence, thank you. Then let's see, tell lies, Gerson Adonai. How often do you tell lies? Con qué frecuencia dice mentira? It's just an example. <laughs> How often do you tell lies? Oh, I see. Never okay. es siempre. Ah, okay. Never es siempre. Never es nunca. <laughs> Never is nunca. Siempre es always. Uh, always. Okay, I always tell They are lies. Always. Bueno, las mentiras no I son always. correctas, pero son muy útiles, eso sí. Mm. <laughs> so, entonces, sometimes. Algunas veces, but sometimes. I, 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 sí, en ese caso, para decir siempre. 
Ah, sería always. I always tell lies. Sería eso. I always. Always. I always tell lies. Sería la oración. La última, Gerson. I, I always tell lies. Uh, eat ice cream. Eat ice cream. How often do you eat ice cream? I, I never. I never. I eat cream. Okay. I never eat ice cream. Okay. Let's bring back your classmate here. Uh, teacher, son una consulta. Dígame, Gerson. Verdad que todavía está, eh, está en una sesión doble, ¿verdad? Es muy, oh. Oye, esta semana en la sección 3, en sección number 3, en the meter exam. La sección esta, 3, esta semana, que during this week. Ah, ya ves que estamos. Ah. No, en esta semana. Sí, tenemos... es que como pensé que estamos en la sesión 2. No, ya estamos en la tercera, en la sección 3. El día de hoy estamos viendo el ah, exam, el examen de medio curso. Ok, Gerson. Ah, okay, que... Esta semana tiene que hacer la sección 3 y hacer el examen. Ok. Ok. Hello, Carlos. Bon appetit. Hello, teacher. Ah, it's a fruit. Ah, ok, that's great. And how was your practice? Oh, very you? excellent teacher. Okay, that's great. Hello, hello, welcome to the class. How was your practice? Did you finish? Terminaron todos? Did everyone participate in the exercise? Okay, there was a question there. How often do you tell lies? How often do you tell lies? Always, usually, sometimes, or never. Christian told me that she sometimes tells lies. Okay, she sometimes tells lies. Good. Any other answer? How often do you tell lies? Lies. Con que frecuencia dicen mentiras? I never tell lies. Okay, Cristina, <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> y mi risa macabra. <laughs> <laughs> you never tell lies. I le never tell lies. Le decía a Gerson que las mentiras son malas, ¿verdad? pero son útiles a veces también. When it's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> it's necessary. <laughs> Frank, when it's, it's convenient. Necessary. Ah, ok. When it's convenient. Convenient. Ok, that's great. I have another question for you. After this, um, let me show you here. A second. Okay, after this question, I have this other one to discuss with you. What did you do last weekend? What did you do this morning? What did you do last night? And also, what did you do yesterday? So we need simple past tense to answer these four questions. The number one, any volunteer, what did you do last weekend? At least three, three activities that you did last weekend. Me, English. Thank you, Ingrid. Okay, I went to the dentist. I I went to the I went I bought some succulentas and I ate pupusas. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good sentences. Then I have Christian. Thank you, Christian. Well, I went to the church and I went to the supermarket and then I went to the soccer field. Perfect, thank you. Now for the second one, what did you do this morning? Any volunteer? What did you do this morning? Yes, one volunteer. Then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna choose somebody. Let's see. What did you do this morning, Osmin? 
I took a bath and I I go I go as the work. Okay, I went. I went to work. I went to work. Thank you, Carlos Dominguez. What did you do this morning? I I went I went to go to work. I take a, a coffee in the breakfast. Okay, I drank or uh, I drank a coffee or I had I had a coffee for breakfast. I drank or I had a coffee for breakfast. Thank you so much. Question number three, what did you do last night? What did you do last night? I played video game with a friend. Perfect answer. Thank you. I played video games with a friend. And the last one, what did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? I went to the university. Perfect. Thank you. I went to the university. And here are the last question. Simple pass with the verb to be. Number one, what was your favorite cartoon? Crisia, what was your favorite cartoon when you were a child? The Amazing, the Amazing World of Gumball. Okay, thank you. Let's see, what was your favorite school subject? Ada Marilu, what was your favorite school subject? It was. Nope. What, teacher? What was your favorite school subject? Math, science, physical education, My. information technology. My favorite uh, was uh, math. Okay, excellent. My favorite subject was math. Perfect, thank you. Number three, who was your favorite artist when you were a child or a teenager? Let's go with Karen Stephanie. Who was your favorite artist when you were a teenager? There is no favorite. Okay, then you say I wasn't a or the, I didn't have a favorite artist. I didn't have a favorite artist. Then I have this other one too. Who was your best friend at the school? What was your favorite movie? And what was your favorite song? But tomorrow we are going to continue discussing the rest of the question, okay? So let's stop here okay. in the class. Don't forget, please, that we need to complete during this week the section number three. And also you need to take the meter exam, right? It's really important that you finish these exercises. Right? Remember that on Friday, uh, Safor is going to check your work, okay? So keep that in mind. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I know that some of you had some problems and I apologize for that, but it was an out day of this platform. Okay, so thank you so much. It's been well and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you so much. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.